Hello, this is L, and we got a nice parts review here of an interesting set that initially I wasn't interested in, but the more I looked at it, the more I got interested in it. But it is Wonder Woman vs. Cheetah, 371 pieces, set number 76157, and it's supposed to be, I believe, based off of the movie that didn't get released, but will be released eventually, I believe. I'm not sure how, but yeah, I wanted to review this and the parts in it because it started to look really interesting, um, and I don't normally do this, but I wanted to show off the box. So this is the box, and as you can see here, it is very unique. Um, first of all, I have to say I really like this. Um, that That definitely is Wonder Woman. The WW84 is not the best, but one of the cool things is if you look close, it looks like a static TV or something. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I'm sure that plays into the movie. But as you can see, this is the front, and you have all the stats and stuff on the bottom, which is okay. It's kind of small, but whatever. I kind of like how it doesn't detract from the picture. Um, but then you have like cartoon versions of of the minifigures about to fight, which I think is just, I don't know, I like it better than Hidden Side for some reason. Um, I mean, it fits the theme of the set, and if this is a one-off set for this movie, I think that's pretty cool. I don't think if I'd like a whole line, maybe just one special set, um, but that's pretty cool. Then to add to it, and I didn't cut it open on this side, you have this cool picture from the movie of Wonder Woman in her, like, all gold outfit and stuff and it's the actual actress and stuff and besides being cut a little weird I think it's pretty cool it just kind of adds to what this set is you know it's from the movie so about this character which is pretty cool and then on the back you have a really nice big picture of the set in action and I think that's really cool too um, I mean you could actually put this out front and without the you know statistics and stuff on here you know what you're getting you're gonna get this set um, it's from Lego and it's about this movie so you could actually probably put this facing out this way and you know what you're gonna get and then having information on this side with the art is still pretty cool and you can tell these are minifigures you know and the Lego logos up big right in the front but this is just the box so it's a pretty cool box and I'm actually a big fan of this box um, the other thing I'll show off in this beginning portion are the stickers, which are pretty cool. There's not a lot of them, but this is the sticker sheet. And kind of to add to that static TV theme, whatever the movie is about, you have these two stickers here. Now, I don't like where they end up being positioned, but they are pretty cool. And maybe you can cut them off and put them on some piece that actually fits with it. And you could have some neat TV stickers that are actually Lego. Um, besides that, you just have a restricted area, which is okay. Caution. You have this little, like, you know, I don't want to say, you know, presidential type thing almost. Um, and then you have like a little handprint keypad, which is actually a minifigure hand, which I think is pretty cool. But let's check out that first bag. Thanks for watching, by the way. And we will see you with these next bags. Okay, so... Here we have bag one. Here we can see a good selection of dark tan, just a lot of it. We got a lot of bricks here, various different sizes, 2x4, 1x4, 2x2, 1x2, 1x1, a lot of bricks there. Then we even have these slopes, which are pretty nice. And as you can see, this is the taller double slope kind of thing. And then you have the shorter version of it, which is pretty cool. I'm happy to get those slopes because they can be used for making trees, um, dirt buildup, walls to dirt, you know, just all kinds of cool stuff. And you do get two of these little inverted ones. Um, some plates, nothing really exciting. It's good that these have a pair, otherwise they're annoying to just get one of, because then you're going to want a pair. Um, you got some slopes here, curved, and some cheese slopes and dark tan, which are nice to get. I like using those for, like, tree and dirt, and you could use them for dirt on mountains and stuff like that. Then we also get two of these partial cylinder pieces or quarter cylinder pieces of the large looking one. Um, nice to get those. You get two of them in this set, which is pretty cool. Nice bigger part. You also get some tan slopes, a little bit of tan inverted slopes, 
some tan corner bricks. Not sure how rare those are. Um, one tan headlight brick, not too special there. You get some tan tiles, some tan plates. I like the corner ones, and you get one of these in hinged plates. Nothing too overly special, but I'm a fan of those. Then we have some gray parts, nothing too fancy here. We got some curves, some different angles. Happy to see a gray door. Usually, I don't know why, I feel like I see glass doors more than anything. Um, some inverted slopes. Um, this is a nice part to get. It's basically a lot of bar going on, but kind of like a railing or a fence. And then you also can put a hole with a bar in there. Um, you can't on the bottom, but otherwise this is also just a stud basically and an anti-stud down there. Nice piece to get. You only get one, unfortunately. Um, you get some curved tiles, which is pretty nice. I like getting um, these because I think they're pretty versatile. And the larger ones you can put on, you know, different parts, which is pretty cool. Then we go up to the black. Probably the highlight of the parts here is this bar. And as you can see, it's an angle on each side. And then it's all bar. And you can kind of see, it's hard to see and my hands are really dry, but you can see how kind of how it has a, a bar like tip and you can't put a bar over the angle. But otherwise this is all bar. Very versatile piece that I think as it gets more produced, we'll see a lot. I think it was something for trains, but I'm not 100% sure. Really nice piece to get. I think you get more in bag too, but we'll check that out. You'll see one of these larger black supports. I have a lot of them, not too common, but it is a bar joint type there, and you can put an axle through the middle if it would perfectly line up. You can see the light through it, kind of. <laughs> but you also get some tiles. You get a black spider. I hate spiders, so I guess it's a spooky piece, and it's not a real spider, so that's good. You get some olive green and some olive green small leaf parts, which is pretty nice. Um, you also get a big dark green leaf part. So you get a variety of foliage in different colors. Um, some olive green stud, which is pretty cool to get. I don't think I've seen those before. But then you get three of these. These are getting pretty common now. And if they're on, you know, pick a brick or stuff like that, you can get them pretty cheap. Um, you also get this big piece, 8x16, nice to get. Um, those can go for quite a bit, but it's nice for building mocks on and floors for modular buildings and larger panels. So nice to get those. Um, we have a couple other colored pieces. We have one trans clear, one of these bars. Great for making it look like something's floating or hovering. I think that's how they use it here. Uh, trans light blue cylinder, nothing too special really. I'm a fan of getting these. You only get three as far as I can tell, but it's a one by one stud with hole in a pink color. Um, you also get three of these little bar accessory holder type things. Um, nice to get those. I don't know if I've seen them in red too much, but let's take a look at the figures and figure accessories. So this is Wonder Woman's golden wing pack, and it's pretty cool. It's detailed, it's gold. Um, as you can see, that's where it fits around the neck. Um, it does fit on a stud, but loosely but that could add for some versatility because you could put it somewhere maybe make a design or something i didn't put it on the figure because i wanted to be able to show the figure so here we have wonder woman and gold is the theme here um golden lasso pretty cool nothing too fancy it's in almost every wonder woman set i think um but it's just a bar can loop around stuff which is pretty cool um, and then let's look at this print. So it's a pretty nice print, not very overly detailed. The weird part, I don't like how it cuts off to the shoes. I don't know why that is. It kind of just makes it look not complete. Um, and as you can see, helmet gold and the hair, which is really cool. Unfortunately, it's designed for the wings to go under it. So it kind of, if you, if you don't use the wings, it looks a little awkward. Um, Let's take a look at the back and alternate face. So here on the face, you can see she's kind of angry. I really like this print. I don't know why. It just looks really good. And then kind of a smirk eyebrow right there. And as you can see, the print continues along there. Pretty nice print. I do wish the boots had more printing or something. I don't know how it looks from, you know, photos and movies, but I'm sure it's just not nothing. Unless I got a weird model, I'll have to look at it, but I don't think so. 
And then just as a, you know, this is the helmet without anything in it. And then we have uh, Cheetah, which is a crazy looking character figure. Um, but really nice print for what it is. Um, you can see it's on the belt, continues on the legs, and then you even have claws down here, which I think is pretty cool. Um, the face is where it kind of loses me. Um, I like the crazy angry, but it, it just doesn't, I don't know, it looks too crazy to me. Um, a white hair piece, which is kind of interesting. Um, not sure if I've seen it before, but it's something different. And then you have a not quite very angry at all face. Um, and then the printing kind of continues on the back. I'm sure it's actually somewhat realistic to what a cheetah looks like, which is pretty cool. And then you have the tail part in the tan there, which I don't know if I've seen in tan, but I've seen it in a couple different colors. But that's it for bag one, and that seems like a lot, but there's a bag two. Kind of why I like this set and really wanted to do a parts review of it is there's a lot going on in here. But that's bag one. Let's take a look at bag two. Okay, here we have bag two. Maybe the interesting bag, or not. Let's take a look at our one figure in this bag. Basically some business guy with a suit. And if you can see, his suit has some plaid lines on it, which is pretty interesting. Goes on to the back with a nice print, but nothing on his legs. First face is kind of scared. Second face is kind of happy. <laughs> Always a kind of. But, there's a lot of unique pieces in here that are a little bit rare. First up, you get a lot of gray. These are the inverted slopes and the other slopes. These slopes are nice for making mountains and all that kind of fun stuff. You do get four of these, which are the, uh, I don't know what they're called, but decorative bricks that they have different angles on each side. Um, you get some tiles, nothing too special. You get a spinning... Uh, whatever that's called. I can't even think about it right now. You do get one of these, which are nice to have. These are a bit expensive and rare. Um, otherwise, just kind of some other gray pieces. Nothing too fancy. Some bracket bricks, some other bricks. Um, it's a little bit of tiles, some slope tiles, nothing too much. You do get some studs in the metallic uh, metal that's a little bit darker, not like silver or chrome. Um... You get some dishes, some jumpers, um, a lot of bar type stuff. Oh, they rolled away. You do get four of these like spyglass parts, which are just kind of nice bar type pieces. Goes into a stud and has a stud. Um, you get some of these, I think, I think they were older pieces, but these bar type pieces, you can put a bar in there or a cross axle um, or a stud, I believe, if I can. Yep. Just like that. Pretty unique, nice piece. A lot of good bar pieces in here. You also get these spikes, which I don't know if I've seen them in dark gray. You get two of them in this set. Kind of an interesting little piece goes into a bar. Um, you get a pile of these in dark gray, which is nice. An interesting part, you get four of these like tranquilizer guns. As you can see, it's a bar here. I think a, this is a bar here too. And you can put something in there because that's a clip on top but you get four of those which is pretty nice and then in black color you get more bars so you get four more of these those kind of unique bars that have a bunch of different angles and bar points that you can clip onto and then a pile of these bars the ones with the stopper on there just a bunch of them i don't know it looks like almost over 10 and then you get some of the black lightsaber hilt bars you get lots of bars in this set which seems interesting speaking of gold bars or bars in general you get four of these gold bars and you get a pile of these one by one studs in gold and again i'm happy that they have the hole in them because i think that makes them a lot more versatile also you get a good amount of in dark tan these one by two rounded plates i really like those a lot um, I'm glad to see a good bunch of them in, in that uh, dark tan. You get some of these cylinders, not too special. Um, but the most special part down here, as you can see, you have a lot of, are these sign parts. So as you can see, it's the thin part that goes into a clip. And the front is printed with like a gold pattern. 
Um, I kind of wish it was on a gold piece, but I'm kind of unsure. I'm not sure how much I like it. But they're all the same. Um, all the same orientation. As you can see, this is the up and down. If you clip it, you know, up and down with the bar there. Um, you get so many of them. I forget what the count was, but it's four, eight, twelve, uh, sixteen, twenty. It's like 25 of them. Wow, that's a lot. I think 26. So you get a lot of these pieces, and I think they could be pretty useful for a lot of different things. I mean, you could clip them in a certain way to make them like a window for a building. It's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see there how the, it reflects and has a design on it, and obviously you can turn it. Um, but a bunch of those, that's kind of what drew me to the set. Initially, I heard these are going to be stickers, and that would have been terrible. I would not have wanted this set because, well, I still might have wanted the set, but that would be a sticker nightmare, to be honest. And it wouldn't be that awesome of a piece. So it's cool to get a whole pile of these, which is kind of interesting. So you get a lot of them. So if you want that piece, you get this and you get a lot of them instead of getting like one or two, which is pretty nice. You also get a random 2x2 two two sand uh, green piece plate. I don't know why. And some Technic stuff. You also get this printed piece, but that's super common. But that's pretty much it for this set. I'm going to build it up and we'll see how it looks. But overall, a lot of good parts. This is about a $40 set. Um, I think some places already have it for around $35. Pretty good amount of parts in there. Um, three figures, pretty good too. Interesting. A very interesting set, and that's kind of what drew me in. Different box, different pieces, very interesting. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this set. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I want to thank you for watching, and if you hear this at the end of the video, you're incredible. Thanks again.